Hi hey everybody, I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and happy Friday! At least today, when I'm filming this, it's Friday. Yay! Um, it is, what, the 16th of October. Uh, welcome to my chit chat podcast, yarn cast, yarn cast, that's a fun one. Uh, I am Sunny, I started these podcasts almost a year ago um, with the hopes of just reaching out to other people. I'm a stay at home mom, so I don't get to um, like interact with other people too often. So this is kind of my way of reaching out. Um, I'm also incredibly shy when I'm around people, but surprisingly doing these videos is very easy for me. I don't understand how that happens, but it does. <laughs> so uh, this is kind of my way of sharing what I do, sharing um, the projects that I'm working on and yeah. So I'm a knitter. My grandmother taught me when I was either a sophomore or junior in high school. Um, she, like my entire life, I just remember her knitting and I finally asked her to teach me. And so yeah, I'm, I can't remember how old I am. How does that happen? I used to get on my mother's case all the time because she couldn't remember how old she was. And now I do the same thing. So um, I have a few finished objects to show you this week. And I think I only have one whip in progress that, ha that I've done anything on. So do I have any? I, I do. I don't. Yeah, I haven't made any progress on any other of my um, like whips, so except for the one I started. So showing you what's going, what things I have done is actually going to be really short. However, at the end of this, I do have a. I'm going to splice in a video I made yesterday because I did make um, a couple acquisitions. I got some um, mill end. Well, they labeled them mill ends. They weren't really mill ends. Um, their mandala lion brand had their mandala you could buy three for like eight dollars and some odd cents so i got two packs of them and since i can't wait to open up mail <laughs> i was like i have to make a video today which was yesterday um so i will splice that at the end of this um yeah it was post workout so <laughs> i'm like no makeup hair's a mess it, i'm like gross but yeah, so that's at the end of this, which so you can see uh, which mandala cakes I got. Um, all right, so let's jump in. First up, I had a request from my dad. Uh, I made my dad a pair of mittens last year um, out of Lion Brand Woolies, and this is thick and quick, and he, he asked me if I would make him another one, or, or he asked if I would make him a hat, and so I've, I've got to get these on the needles. Uh, he was very specific that he did not want any pom-poms. So rest assured dad, no pom-poms on your hat. All right. Um, so I've got to get these on the needles and I'll probably, once it gets going, they, they don't take long at all because the wool is, the yarn is so thick and this is a wool acrylic blend. <clears throat> so starting that this weekend. Um, Ooh, sorry. Another thing I have done is this hat. Now I have some weird lighting going on today because it's a rainy day. I've got a warm light back there, but the light on my um, tripod is a cool light. So there we go. That's we're getting there. This is more green. I think it's coming up blue and this is more pink. I think on there it's coming up purple. But this is the Copycat CC hat. It was free on Ravelry. And this is using the Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Fireside in Something Shadows. I can't remember. Something Shadows. So this is what it looks like on. I wore my hair down just so I could try these <laughs> on. Um, I did the pattern I originally called for three sections. <clears throat> uh, 
of this pattern. So purl, stockinette stitch, one by one rib, stockinette stitch. That's a whole section. And originally it calls for three. However, I was using um, this fireside yarn and it's a uh, wool acrylic blend. And it was calling for size seven needles and I already know that my gauge is pretty tight. Um, so I moved it up to a size nine actually because the yarn itself is pretty thick. Um, so I didn't have room for that third one unless I wanted to do a roll brim, which I didn't. Um, the pattern also calls for a um, double knit brim. So you, you, how did, you knit it and then you knit it together. It was weird. I couldn't do it. I probably could have if I really sat down, but. So this is what it looks like. I love this hat. It's very cute. Uh, very warm. It is probably, if you have sensitive skin, you probably would not want to use this fireside yarn um, for anything that's going to be directly on <clears throat> your skin because you can tell that it's made out of wool. But yeah, sorry the color's off. But I will link the pattern down below. And it'd probably look really cute with a pom pom, but I think with the blend, I don't know, I'm probably not going to put a pom pom on it. Maybe in the next one. I did finish my Narragasset fingerless mitt. <laughs> I just had to do the other one. I definitely messed up on this pattern a lot. My own fault. I was not paying attention to which row I was on. Um, but this is came, came out really cute. And once I started, it was like I had this all finished in one sitting. And I did go back and do the thumb right away. Yay. Um, which when you have a project where you have to go back and like say finish a thumb or finish a sleeve, do you finish it right away? Or I guess you wouldn't want to do it with a sweater. Well, maybe, I don't know. Do you finish it right away or do you wait until you get to the second like mitten or fingerless mitt and finish both of the thumb thumbs at the same time? Or do you finish it as soon as you finish the main body of it? I'm curious. I think previously I've just waited until I finished both fingerless mitts and then gone back and done the thumb, but it was kind of nice to get the thumb done and out of the way. Obviously I have not sewn in the ends, but that will be done. Um, and once again, no idea what I was doing when picking up stitches. So that's pretty holy in there. Uh, I am going to have to go back and fix all that, but oh well. I, I've never found a video that has like shown me the proper way <laughs> to pick up those stitches. So I never know what I'm doing when I pick them up. And last I have finished, except I haven't woven in the ends. This is the Twisted Cable Headband, and by it's by Nifty Knittings. Nifty has a K at the start of it. Oops, let me get these in the back. Oop, there we go. So this is what this one looks like. It's um, very, very soft. Very, very soft. This is Yarn B Chunky. Yeah, from Hobby Lobby. I've been using a ton of Hobby Lobby yarns lately. So this is what it looks like. Um, you do get that little like diamond in there, it's cute. And oh, I love this. This is just, I made one for my daughter Emmeline last year. Um, and I didn't have any chunky yarn, so I ended up, it was like, I really want to make this, but ended up having to be a kid size because all I had was uh, worsted weight. So this is the first year I've been able to make one for me. Isn't it cute? And then the back, so you knit this flat and then you sew the ends together to like in pattern. It was so weird. Like you just pick up the V's and the ends to make it like this. Now, you are supposed to block this. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think it really needs it. And it's acrylic yarn. 
Not that you can't block acrylic, you obviously can. Um, I just don't think it really needs it. It stretches out well once it's on. And um, I think in her original pattern, she calls for like Red Heart and Italian Story Vera yarn. And I think that's a wool blend, which is why she would want it blocked. But this is all acrylic yarn. Yes, you can block acrylic. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't, um, but I just don't think this one needs it. So that is that one. And for projects, sorry, on the needle, I have started, if I can get it out, another one of those headbands. So this is a different color. I was hoping, oh, I have her, yeah. I was hoping I'd be able to get two headbands out of one because I thought these would be great Christmas gifts. So two headbands out of one skein, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So without showing you all the pattern, it is a free pattern on her blog. If you want an ad-free version, you can buy it for like $4, according to the website, but I will again link it down below. So there it is. And Nifty Knittings. But I will link it down below. And yeah, so it's very, very cute, very, very warm. It's very wide, which I like. Um, I always had the problem of like my ears are exposed somewhere, but this is gonna keep your head nice and warm. So <sighs> that is everything. Um, I did make some fingerless mitts this week and a set of pumpkins, but um, they have already gone out to their own homes, so I don't have them to show you. But, um, so I'm keeping with the format of filming on Friday mornings. It possibly might change, I don't know, we'll see <laughs> how it goes. Fridays seem to be pretty smooth somehow in terms of getting everybody ready before we have to go out the door. Um, but yeah, so that's everything I have. If you would like to see which yarns, which mandala cakes I got from Lion Brand, stick around because I'm just gonna splice this video right together. Um, and thank you all for watching. <sighs> I feel like there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was. So we're gonna end it here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, so. This is the video I was talking about, which hopefully I have managed to splice into my weekly chit chat video. Um, I did get some acquisitions. I purchased this from Lion Brand Yarns. And since it's mystery yarn to me, because I got their mandala like mill ends, um, I don't know what colors I'm getting. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to share with you what colors I get. Um, this is post-workout sunny just got home from picking up my daughter from school so probably a pretty big uh shift in clothing and makeup and hair oh well you get both sides today so i am not going to waste too much time here i'm going to dive right in because i probably splice this in at the end of my chit chat video which usually is probably about 20 minutes long so i'm going to dive right into this and here we go. So Lion Brain Yarns, they had this three pack of mill ends of mandala, I'm not looking, um, for like $8 and some odd cents, which I thought was fantastic. So you get three skeins for like eight something, but you don't know what colors you're getting. So big mystery there. What? All right. So I have three of the same here. They are all banded. And this is the color Fairy. I just peeked at the other one. So very, very pretty pinks that run out to this green into a lavender color, cream, brown, and then back to this kind of like mauve color. Hmm. So very pretty. I like that a lot, actually. I think these colors in here will be great together. Um, yeah, so I like that a lot. Very happy with that. 
Okay, I'm back. We had the tripod fall over and a crying baby downstairs, which was nothing more than she wanted water in her sippy cup. So um, here we go. So this is this one, the first ones I got, it was called Fairy. Where'd you go? Um, this is a lightweight three and it's 100% acrylic. I've used a lot of this before. I made, made three um, Boneyard shawls. Uh, which is a pattern by Stephen West out of these um, different colors though I had genie I can't Pegasus and one other one which I can't think of right now but that's okay so this is the colorway fairy it's very pretty so lots of very pretty pinks in there and the next one I got oh <laughs> interesting all right had this color before. So this is the color. Where are you? It's probably very crinkly on that side. Um, this is the color unicorn. Actually, I haven't had this color then. We're going to open this one up. Oh, this is really pretty. It has some of the same colors as the other one I had in it, but it's not the same color way. So you can see it has this green in here. Very, very pretty. This is the color Unicorn. They're all mandalas. Again, I got this on Lion Brand. Not sponsored in any way or anything like that. I purchased this with my own money, um, but I just thought it was a really good deal. It ended up being $25 and some odd cents for all six of these. And that's with shipping, so, oops. There's kind of the colors where it works up. And let me get this one. That's the unicorn, this one's fairy, and this is fairy when it's all worked up. So very, very pretty. So I'm actually really happy with those. Both of them, I was really worried I was gonna get colors that I've already had, but I have not had either of these before. So yay, that is exciting. All right, I'm gonna end this here, let y'all go. <laughs> And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully I will get this up tomorrow, which um, will be Friday the 16th of October. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.